since we're on the on the musicians already, um, the, you have there's there is two different kinds of musicians. There's there's a studio musician, and then there's a road musician. Right. Um, a lot of people, you know, think of a studio musician as one that, you know, is, is the one that comes up with the original riffs that we remember. Right. Um, and then the road musicians are job is to recreate it, but they actually have to do more than just cre recreate it because they have to. Knowing when not to play is as important as knowing when to play Amen. for a, a session player. But when you're you, when you have to fill um, a stadium, you there's, right. it's a whole different ball game, right? Yeah, but space is always the most valuable player, always. And I think that's probably where if music ever misses, it's because of the producer or the artist or the player misses that point right there. So Alan Reynolds, king of space. And uh, what space allows you to do is allows you to get inside the music with it and wear it and feel like it's you and kind of own it. You take the let's perfect example. We were talking about this today off Rope in the Wind album. There's a song called Rodeo that was a single for us on the record. It's a, it's a good record. But Chris Ledoux said it best. He says the way that thing sounds live. That's Rodeo right there. And uh, so hearing that come from him. Pretty cool, but you're right. Uh, the solos have to be um, less polite when you're yeah. playing it live. Mm -hmm. That's a great Solo way has to grow some hair. And uh, the drummer, the drummer has to be a freaking machine. Uh, dynamics on a studio record, up and down live, those dynamics flatten out a little bit. Or if anything, they just get louder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so two totally different players usually. And the reason why is it's two totally different approaches.